Now we're going to look at some planimetric drawing now. Planimetric drawing is done with a 45 degree set square. It's the same technique that we can use for isometric drawing with a 30 degree set square. It's just instead at 45 degrees. As a result, it can look a bit odd. Now this is normally used for room plans such as kitchens. So that's what we're going to look at now. So I'm going to start off by drawing the base of my plan at 45 degrees. It's up to you how big this is. Once I've got my base, I'm going to come straight up at 90 degrees. I'll come up the same amount for each one. So I'm going to come up five centimeters for each one. And it's imagine I'm looking into the room. So I'm going to have, for example, the door on here. I put a door in there, people normally can start seeing into the room. Now, um, we're going to use a kitchen unit. So I'm going to start by drawing that here. So 45 degrees coming out, 45 degrees. What I'm going to start by doing is we're going to add it on the base, like so. Then we're going to come up however high we want, 45 degrees, 90 degrees. Uh, I'm going to come straight up there, so whatever distance that is, I've come up 25 there, 25 there to get my 45 degrees in, come up 25 there for my 45 degrees in there. And that gets me my base units in. Now, quite often in the exam, when I've seen this, it's been something like that, where you've been given the plan view of the kitchen there. You've been shown where the door is. It might have even had a checkered floor. If it's got a checkered floor, you need to make sure that you've got the right number of squares in. Um, it might be that you're then asked to add some uh, upper, upper units in. So the upper units are going to be up here. And again, we'd use that 45 degree rule, something like that, and then carry that on into the corner. Um, it might be that we have some kind of hob on here. So we put that in there like that. Um, it might be that we've got um, some kind of cutout here. Um, obviously do that using the set square and so on. So you can add more and more detail using that. The key thing is it's, it's just like isometric, but it's using a 45 degree set square, which makes it planimetric.